state communities are getting hundreds of thousands of dollars from the EPA to clean up what's known as brownfield properties. Yeah, these brownfield properties are abandoned industrial or commercial sites that are sitting in limbo because of concern about pollution. Seven News reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us live to break down exactly where this money's going to go. It sounds like it's an important uh, investment, Ann. Yeah, people say this does wonders for communities. Several upstate communities receiving these grants this year are using them to either clean up abandoned mill sites or assess other potential problem areas. Greenville is receiving $300,000 that it's hoping to use to assess some property here in the West End. The goal is to eventually build a 60-acre park that city leaders hope will spur some economic growth. As upstate communities evolve from mill towns to modern cities, there's a lot of work to be done. Most southern communities, the decline of the textile industry left us with many abandoned properties. Community leaders are hoping hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants from the EPA will help rebuild their economies from the ground up. Pelzer and Greenwood have each been awarded $200,000 to clean up old mills so that land can be put to use again. The cities of Greenville, Clinton, and Pickens are each receiving $300,000 to assess some problem areas, making sure they're also safe for new businesses and parks. These grants help the, um, provide the change that can lead, it's the catalyst that can lead to a very broad economic resurgence. And I've personally seen that, you've seen that, many of you live that every day. Greenville Mayor Pro Tim Amy Doyle points to Falls Park as an example of how environmental investment can yield big returns, saying the $13 million invested in the park generated $300 more million in private investment. Now leaders at City Hall are hoping to use the money from their grant to begin the work of building a 60-acre park in the West End, as well as investing in things like affordable housing and community gardening. We want it to be mixed income renters and homeowners. We want community and recreational interests. We want neighborhood-based businesses. We want to address the job opportunities that are now not there. A rep from the EPA says this program has a proven track record. He says for every $1 the federal government invests, $18 are generated in economic growth. Amy? Well, and what about how long this program has been around? I mean, have we seen this kind of money pumped into our communities before? And are there any examples of where it's worked? Great questions, Amy. Uh, the program is actually 20 years old. It's in use across the U.S. I believe Greenville has had six uh, projects that have benefited from this program in the past. And one big one is the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Amy? Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a true success. People love the Swamp Rapid Trail. And Maxwell live tonight. Thank you for telling us all about the big investments.